everyone, I have been asked to colour a picture from this book, Matchstick Mouse Summer Colouring Book, and so I am going to. Sorry about the glare from the lamp, I've had to shut the blind, it's so sunny today. I'm just going to come in a little bit. I picked this picture with the boat, I thought we could have some fun with the water later, but let's get the main part of the picture coloured, and then we're, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we do that after. I've picked my Black Widows today to colour with. Don't know why, just thought it would be fun. So let's start with some greenery. Um, let's start with the Black Widow Scorpion. I'm going to use this, um, no, not that one. No. <laughs> I'm going to use my Irish Green and do um, this bush here. And I'm just going to sort of plain colour it actually a little bit to start with and then think about what to do with it after. Now this is the American version of the book and I feel that it's a little bit more toothy in the paper than the UK version. There's nothing wrong with that either way. It just takes a slightly different technique and works better with different pencils I find um, a nice I find that you need to put I'm just try and decide if that is a bit of a bush or not I'm thinking no mm, but what is it if it isn't let's do that bit like that um, I find um, it leaves a bit more white paper because of the tooth so you have to be aware of that. I'm just going to grab a slightly darker green. I'm going to grab the green, grass green, green grass, sorry, and do a bit at the bottom here. Just to darken it at the bottom, I think it'd be a tad darker. So yes, I feel that um, you need a few more layers and a pencil that's either got a sharp end like these or that um, um, I'm going to use what's called the turquoise to do the tops um, or just layer up a bit really it's a bit dark this, I thought it would be lighter never mind it is what it is so yeah, you may need more layers if you don't like the white paper showing through, but for me, I don't mind. Hope you can add to your um, picture. Right, that's that bit. Now we've got what looks... Now, is that a cloud or a bush? This is a bush. I'm going to do this as a bush, I think. Oh no, because that's a bird. So I'm going to do this bush next. And I'm going to use the grub green. These are all from the Black Widow Scorpion set, but I will be digging into my other sets. I've got all the three smaller sets, I guess. The Scorpion, the Cobra and the Spider set. So I'm doing a sort of round and round motion here where I can, because uh, it's obviously a bush. Now, it's always a little bit tricky with Morgan O'Brien's books or the Matchstick Mouse. Now, where does that bush end, you know? Does it go to there? I'm just going to sort of bring it across here a little bit. You have to do a little bit of guesswork, but it's okay. Like that. Probably there. I'm just going to layer that over again a little bit, particularly near the bottom. And sort of behind these leafy bits, but it might not show up very well. Okay. Oh, look, we've got a little sprig here. I'm going to do that in the gra green grass colour. It was sort of... I thought it was going to match that bit, but it doesn't. But that's OK. We'll just sort of extend it a bit to there. Again, we have a bit of guesswork going on with the colours, but it's OK. Now, hmm... Let's do the sky next. Now, I like this colour for sky. This is the Blue Haven. It's rather nice. I think sometimes just getting that bit done, the sky done, helps you to see what's going on. Oh, I've got a bit of a sore foot today. I'm trying to uh, not lean on it. I've um, 
I've just got a cut on the bottom of my foot. It's it's not really that. or and a few grazes. It's okay, but it's just I just have to make sure I don't put my weight on it, which uh, means that I'm not going out at the minute because because uh, I can't really walk on it very much. I I can walk, but on my toes, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, it just needs a plaster in a few days to get better, really. Uh, now, see, what do we do with this cloud? Um, I'm thinking I'd quite like a bit of blue there on that one. Mm. Let's put the blue over here first. So we don't even have the continuation of that circle, and I'll put a bit in there and there. And there, I'm thinking that's all going to be uh, the colour of the um, grasses. Mm, I'm going to make that grasses, I think, there. Now, is that all going to be white? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking I want my cloud to sort of do that. I'm going to put some blue under there. You don't have to do it this way. But uh, I just feel like I want a bit more blue. I like this blue. <laughs> just indulging in it because I like it. There we go. I think that's okay. <clears throat> now, let's do these um, sort of reeds. I don't know if there are any more. Just looking around. No, those are it. Now, I do the, like to do the tops in a dark brown colour. So I'm going to use this um, dark chocolate colour. And I tend to go around the edge and lighten them slightly in the middle. Try and make them look a little bit more rounded. Because they aren't flat. They are rounded. Like that. And this one. Oh, excuse me. Now the stems, I think, will probably be in a brown. I'm going to use, actually, keep with this dark chocolate and just do a really light layer, like that. And the same on these two. But then go over it in a lighter colour brown. Um, we've got quite a nice light one here. Um, the dark tan. And I think we'll just it will just merge it up and be nice. And they'll stand out and they look nice and warm. Now you could um, make this bit in here a bit darker. I think we will. Grab our dark chocolate. I'm just being a bit fussy now. Just thinking where they overlap here, there'd be a bit of shadow. <clears throat> Excuse me, in a bit there. There we go. As I say, I'm just being a bit fussy. I'm going to grab my dark tan again and just do that bit. A bit pale. There we go. Now we need the actual grassy bits. It's a very technical term. And I'm thinking <laughs> this olive green might be good because it's a sort of warmer, brownier green. I think it'll sort of match with the brown stems. And trying to take the colour right down to our mouse's hat. Now, in the Matchstick Mouse books, Matchstick Mouse he, he appears in most pictures. Just a few sometimes without Matchstick Mouse in. I'm trying to make it a little bit darker at the bottom, but it's not really massively necessary. Um, I'm just going to put a bit in there, do you remember? If I make that a bit lighter and these a bit darker, I think it'll just work. Yeah. Um... So, um, some people might like to colour matchstick mouse the same way every time in every picture. I don't do that. I uh, mix it up a bit. I'm going to grab a complete a, a green from a different set. Oh no, we've got a light green actually. Hang on. We've got this um, a lime fruit. It's a bit light, isn't it? See, I'm not really sure what's going on here. It seems to be tree trunks, but these reeds in front I think I'm going to do a bit here as if there's a tree behind the vines and here this tree in this colour I'm sort of doing a circular motion to get a 
try and get a good coverage because it's quite a pale colour. We can always use another colour on top in certain areas if you think we need it. So anyway, some people might like to colour Matchstick Mouse the same colour every page. I don't do that. I I change the colour depending on what's going on in the picture, what other colours I've used and I'm going to use this um, Cobra green in the background now. So in between where the tree trunks are, I'm just going to use this colour. This is a little bit browny so it could I think that's two tree trunks. It could be, um, I think that, is that water? No. Um, so they could be, um, this could be sort of bits of tree trunk in the distance or bits of greenery. I think it's quite a good sort of brownie green you can do for either. I think we'll put a trunk in there and then we'll continue this all the way to this edge here like that. And then we'll colour in the tree trunks, which we'll do in, is that the right colour? No. We'll pick, yeah, so we'll go for this one. This is the M Tarantula from the Spider set. If you don't have all of these pencils or any of these pencils, you can use any pencils really. Just, um, you know, hopefully these colours will just give you a bit of a guide. And obviously you might think, ugh, <laughs> one or two different colour to what he's doing. Maybe I'm showing you what not to do. Right, let's move those across a little bit. Okay, so we've sort of done this back part, which is good. And now I'm going to focus on this little bit at the bottom. So we've used a lot of the greens. Um, I think I'm going to use some... Why not mix it up? Lots of colours, lots of greens. Because we've got all this water, which is going to be very samey. So if we make some variety in the greens, this is the opal green from the Cobra set. And I'm going to do these little square triangles, squares, yeah, triangles in this. I don't know what they are, whether they're supposed to be some sort of fruit that I should have really um, left in a different colour. I've got no clue. And I'm going to use the toxic green from the spider set to do that particular plant. So I'm just going to do a circular motion. You can go over the top of that opal green because it won't hurt. It's quite dark, but uh, I'm going to try and go around it. It's good practice for me. Yeah, as I say, you can follow in any set of pencils. You don't have to use the same ones as me. I thought you might be able to hear some bird song today with the window open, but uh, all I can hear out of the window is traffic. I think I'm going to go over that bit. Um, there was a magpie earlier making a lot of noise, sound like a parrot. <laughs> it's really screeching. But everything's quiet now. It's getting a bit warmer. And maybe they're getting a bit tired. I don't know. Right, this bush. Hmm. I know. We'll go into our scorpion set and use our charcoal green. Quite a different colour. Carry it all in. I usually pick a really simple picture for when I'm doing a recording from this book, from these Matchstick Mouse books, because you can usually do a whole one in one go if you pick a simple one. They don't really take very long, but um, this one is not going to be really simple so I may split it into a couple of videos. I'll see how the time goes. I'm going to do under these leaf clusters a little bit darker so it looks, you can see them. It's quite fun, it adds a bit of texture to the plant as well. Okay let's grab another green, where should we go? Where should we go? Let's go to our Everglade. Sorry, I'm reaching over the picture. We'll go to Everglade, which is in our spider set. These two look really similar. They all do, actually, but I'll do one. I think I'm only going to do one in this colour, actually. This is almost a bluey, green, watery colour, I think. But anyway, 
I've got, I know what colour I'm using for the water. It's not this. Um, I'm going to go to my Cobra set and pick the forest for this one. It's quite dark, this one. Goes really nicely with the Cobra that we used up here to, to um, add some shadows and shade to it. But we don't, we're not doing that today. There we go. Um, what's this one? Venom. This is Venom. Yes, the cobra's name's a bit scary for someone like me who's not a fan of snakes. But uh, never mind. There we go. And this one left. Oh, what's that? The Fangreen. Let's do that one. Okay, we've done quite a lot of plain colouring there, but I just like the mix of different colours. It's nice to keep it simple. Whoops, I don't need to keep moving it, do I? I'm sorry. Right, mouse. Now, what colour are we going to do? Your... Now, we've got the boat. I think I'm going to do the boat first, because I want the boat to be wood. If I do the wood first, then I can um, work out what colours I have left for our mouse. I'm going to use the Huntsman, which is probably the darkest brown that I've got. And I want this inside bit to do, be a little bit darker. So I'm going to put that on here. I'm trying to make sure I don't get any on mouse or, or worm. See, I don't, I've got, you know, I don't mind worms at all. I put them on my hand. I'm absolutely happy with worms. Snakes, ugh, can't bear. Frightened. But then worms don't bite. Do they? I'm scared of snakes attacking me. So I guess it is it is a logical fear. Not that we get any here and well, we get three types in the UK. And one is venomous, but they're absolutely petrified. I've never known or heard of anybody being bitten. Now I'm looking at the shape of the boat, we've got this piece around the top and it's slightly apparent here as well. I'm thinking underneath it might be a bit darker. We want to put a bit of shadow there, so I'm just putting an extra layer of colour there, under there, like that. And now on the outside of the boat, I'm just going to put a little layer of this. I'm holding the pencil quite low down and on its side and you can get just a light layer just to make it slightly darker than that other part okay now I'm going to grab my foxy brown again from the spider set and I'm going to go over the top of this bit now you may not think this bit needs going over but I think it's quite nice to it will tie it in with the wood on the outside because it's the same wood, but it's just, you know, more shadowy. So I'm just um, going over all of it. Now we have got this flagpole. I would probably do this wood. I'm going to do a lightish layer of this. Whoops on here, a darker layer down here, all will become apparent later. So I'm just going to merrily colour it. Now the oars I think are made of wood as well, but we can do them slightly differently so they stand out. Just a light layer on here. more down here. So this bit is darker. It doesn't show up that much. I'm just trying to get my hand in a position so I don't block you from seeing. So I hope everyone's doing well. It's an opportunity for me to check on you all. I know um, some of you have health issues that come and go and some of you um, 
um, stress and mental health issues and I hope you're managing to get on and do some colouring from time to time or regularly if you can to uh, help you. I'm going to go in with the dark tan from the Scorpion set, I know we've used this before and I'm going to add some shape to this um, piece. Now I think this looks like it's a rounded branch so I want to put a bit of darker colour at the bottom and top to uh, try and make it look more rounded. I think there'd be a lot more at the bottom than the top actually. Just a little bit at the top. There we go. And I'm going to add a little bit of this down here. I think it just helps to tie it together. But just a light layer, particularly on the edges. Whoops, sort of moving around. Now, when you've got a lot of brown in a picture like this, the mouse, which I'm often tempted to do brown, could be grey. And then the mouse will stand out still. That's something I'm thinking about at this point. I haven't decided entirely yet. Um, we're going to do these oars. <clears throat> I'm just looking at the colours I've got. I've got a lot of very ready browns, which I don't want to use. So I'm going to use the um, dark tan first on these. So they look a little bit different. If you start... If you start with the lighter colour, it's going to look different than if you start with the darker colour. Just because of the order they're layering up it makes quite a big difference. So let's colour that all up. And then we just add a little bit of shadow. I'm going to pick, there's the brown I want, the tarantula. And... I'm thinking it'd be dark under here. It's like a spoon, isn't it? And then on the edge here. Under here, where we've got these lines, look, I'm going to make it dark. It darker under there. And the same here, look, under there. I think that will do. I don't think we need to overdo it too much. I think it, it's standing out at the moment, and that's what I want. Okay, now what have we got? We've got water and we've got mouse. Let's do water. Oh, let's do the flag. Now, I'm going to do the flagpole. I'm going to do it quite dark so it stands out. So I'm just looking. I'm going to grab the huntsman, dark brown. And I'm actually going to do it quite dark. So I'm going to try and do it slightly darker at each edge, but that's not working. I'm just going to fill it in dark. There we go. Just dark. That's it. Now the actual flag, I'm going to wait. I'm going to match it in potentially with Mouse's hat. We'll see. Right, greys for his body. We have a very light grey up here. The um, spider web from the spider set. I'm going to do that on here. I think it's tummy. Be a bit lighter in colour. There's Hello Beetle. Now Beetle's got stripes and I don't know whether to colour them in or leave them white. I'm never sure. Now Mousy's got a white bit on his eye. Try not to get any grey in there. So there's our light grey. You can keep your up and down motion to get make him look a bit furry. Okay, and then I want a darker grey. I've got a few in my Cobra set. I think I'm going to use the charcoal. I don't want it to be really dark. I'm going to press quite lightly and just see how it comes out. I think that's okay. I might go a bit harder than that. I've got the ear up here. And then this bit of ear. Sometimes I forget that bit until later. It's okay, you can go back, but you need to remember um, what colour you were doing it. And I've got a lot of colours out. I feel like I'm trying to use every colour in the box. I've got so many next to me. <laughs> it's okay. 
What's that? Is this leg? I think so. Now, now I'm going to have a quick look and I'm thinking it might be a little bit darker under here. If we do that bit darker of his body, you can see the shape of his arm better and here. And maybe a bit darker under the hat, there'd be some shade under there. And down here, it looks to me like we need to put a bit there. Ah, I quite like him in grey. I don't think I've done much to mouse in grey. Him, her? Don't know. Right, ear and foot and tail. I'm thinking it's quite fun to do a peachy colour, but I'm thinking because Matchstick Mouse is grey, maybe pink might work better. But I'm looking at my pinks and thinking, ooh, maybe this one, maybe the fancy pink might work. I'm going to try really lightly. I don't want it massively pink. What I think I'll do is I'll do this lightly, it's still quite bright, isn't it? And then go over it with a peach. Um, now, oh, I haven't done the arm. Hang on. In with the charcoal. Um, nose. I'm never sure whether to do the nose, the same colour as the ears, or whether to black. Today it's the same colour as the ears. It's quite fun if you mix it up a bit. So you might want to colour match stick mass the same in every page, but it's completely up to you. Now, peachy colours. What colours? Is that the peach? Mm, I think this one is the... Mm. This one's... Mm, it's called honeycomb. It looks peachy. Yep. See, this one is called tanned, but it looks quite peachy to me. I'm going to put it on top. I think it'll tone it down even if it's a yellowy orange and give me more of the colour that I want, a bit less red. Yeah. Better? I like that better. Now we have worm. Worm's always tricky to colour. What colour is a worm? I am going to do worm in this honeycomb colour and then see what happens. See what worm looks like. Hmm, a bit wishy-washy, don't you worm? Let's give you a bit more of a orange. Um, we're well not a bright orange. Oh, maybe... Uh, oh, excuse me. Hmm. Toadstool from the spider set. I think that's better. It looks a bit too orange. I'm going to put a bit of pink. I'm just going to grab this fancy pink. Go over you. It's going to look really. <laughs> Not sure. Oh well. There you are, Mr. Worm. Now, flag and hat, I'm going to make a decision. I have a lot of blue because of the water, so I'm thinking red. Might sound a bit mad, but hey, why not? I'm going to grab the scorpion blood red for the flag. And I'm going to do it quite bold. I think it's quite fun. It's a nice red this, just a really good, it's not orangey, it's not pinky, it's just red. Some pencil sets are lacking in good reds I think. I don't know if I would call this blood red but you know, you know what I'm black widows are like. I'm going to use a different base red for the hat. Um, I think I'm going to use the blood diamond. And I'm just going to start with a light layer. This is more of a pinky red, but that's okay. It isn't really pink. I'd say it's not even like a madder, really, is it? It's definitely red. So I'm doing a layer all over to start.
start with. And then I'm going to grab my darker colour, put some shading in. So I've got, whoops, look on squiff. I've got some burgundy and I'm going to go do the areas under here where it would be shadowed under the hat. Or sort of inside the hat. See, um, these have been marked for us to tell us that it's darker under here anyway. So we don't really need to think about that. So that's easy. I'm going to put that on quite thick under there. Because I want some shadow on the rest of the hat, but I don't want it so thick. So I think under the ear here there would be some. And at the bottom it would be darker down there. And at the bottom of there. But maybe just along here a little bit. Just put a bit here to sort of emphasise the brim. And then I'm going to go back in with my blood diamond. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops. And uh, darken that up. So I'm going to fade this as I go up. So it's not so dark towards the top. Where the light would be catching the hat. But I do want it to look bit more solid than it is so I'm going to find another colour to just add in what should we try so having a quick look at what I've got I know I'm thinking this ladybug from the spider set might work nicely I'm going to try it down here first to see how it goes and I'm thinking I can just use that as a slightly lighter red take the colour up. We still will want it quite light at the top so you can see it looks like this light is catching the top of the hat. Okay now behind this flag we have it's sort of split part there so I'm going to grab the um, cobra I'm just looking for it. Is that it? No. Bear with me sorry. Uh, is that it? Yeah, so the cobra green colour, just do some of the behind the flag. I might do all of it actually. Get that. Okay, let's move away these reds. I've got so many pencils here, it's uh, getting mad. Right, water. The water is all going to be the same colour, probably. And I'm going to use the Aquarius, whoops, from the um, cobra set. And I'm just going to start layering it down quite lightly to start with and I'm going in a horizontal direction that is the direction that the um, lines are drawn on the water so it will just sit well with that and I'm gonna I'm gonna take it all the way up to here I did think maybe from here onwards it was sort of land but then this is not this is overlapping so i'm guessing it is all water and it's quite quick and relaxing to do it like this you do need to be careful around that little tooth i want that to stay white but of course you can always go in there with a white pen the only thing with white pens with um, black widows is that some of them um, react with a white pen and go pink so you might want to check that first I couldn't say for sure with this colour so now we've got our water in we're going to think about where it's going to be darker I think all around the boat it might be darker there'd be some shadow here and around the uh, oar here it would be a bit darker and here I'm just going to Layer it up a little bit, maybe a little bit at the back here. He looks like he's having fun, he or she. I was thinking mouse, think mouse. Oops, that was rather uh, <laughs> violent. The lead popped out. I was obviously um, colouring too hard. Now, I'm thinking around the edges of the water. I want it lighter. I want it fairly light, but I want a thicker layer of colour, if that makes any sense. 
So what I'm going to do is just overemphasize these bits that I want in this darker color. Again, now I've got a sharp pencil, so I'm going to go a bit more gently. Obviously going sideways, it didn't like it. There we go. I'm going to actually grab the color we used for the sky, the Blue Haven, because you know, water is supposed to reflect the sky color and it's pale as well. And I'm just going to put a layer on top. And we're going to add something fun to our water in a minute. We're going to add some sparkle. Now, you could just grab a sparkly pen, whether you've got a gel pen with bluey green or a clear one or silver, anything like that would work. I'm going to use my stickles because I was gifted them yesterday and I haven't used them yet. I've used some stickles before but not this particular colour and I'm going to show you my technique for using stickles which is not um, how you're supposed to use them I don't think. Um, someone did tell me how to use them but I use them differently. So I'll show you in a moment. There. I'm happy with that now that we've got a little bit of shadow going on around here and we'll get out our stickles. Now I have got this set of stickles. These are called diamond. Okay, I think anything blue or silvery would work, but I've only got three and this is the one that will match best on my water. So what I use is I get one of these. Okay. And I get my stickles. Now, how stickles work, if you haven't seen them, they've got this fine, and you can just draw with them. So I could draw over all the lines, but it comes out quite thick. And it's like a glitter glue. So if you just draw on, you can spread it with the tip, uh, but it can leave quite a thick um, mark. What I like to do is something a little bit differently. I apply it to the end of this. You can use any sort of Q-tip. And then I just splodge it about and spread it into different areas and because I'm spreading it it's not thick which means that um, you can colour on the back I mean this is obviously a single sided book so it doesn't matter too much but it means it, it doesn't matter because sometimes I have put it in a book, book them in a book before and uh, it made it quite difficult colouring on the back because the glue was so thick so I'm just spreading it around. You can use a piece of tissue for this if you want, rather than this. I did use tissue, have used tissue sometimes. All the blue pencils coming off on my um, my thing. I'll try and take it to the edge without going too much out of the lines if I can help it. I'll try and make it fairly even across different bits of the page. Easier said than done. Now, I don't know how well you can see it. I'm trying to see it myself. A little bit in here. As so you could probably use the tip to spread them, to spread it, but I just find it easy with this. Yeah. I'm going to try and make sure I get near the edges of things because, or else it looks like um. It looks a little bit odd. And you can just spread them until the glue dries. Once the glue is dried, then uh, you can't move it. Now, what I like about stickles over sparkly pens is that they seem far more sparkly, which is rather nice. I think the pieces of glitter are a little bit bigger, to be honest. I think that's why. Right, I'm going to leave it there, she says, lying. I'm going to put a bit more on. <laughs> a bit down here. There we go. I mean, you could just use a white pen, but you probably cannot see anything. I'm just looking in the camera. I can't see. There we go. How's that? I think that's great fun. So there 
is Matchstick Mouse in the boat. I think that's rather a cute picture and I hope um I hope you um you've enjoyed watching me colour it as much as I've enjoyed colouring it. So there we go. Shiny sparkles. So uh so thank you for watching. I haven't done beetle stripes. Um uh, I don't think I will. Um I think I'll leave them white. Um, I think it looks fine, but you might want to um, pop some stripes. Now I've got to write down a list of every colour that I've used in this picture. I think I used nearly every one. I didn't really, but I used a lot. But anyway, <laughs> wish me luck. But thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you have a really lovely day. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And there will be more stickles um, videos. I've got um, uh, some more pastel and stickle background ideas to show you at some point. Not sure when but it will come. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a lovely day and happy colouring.